Today, we are venturing out into the majestic rivers and lakes of sub-Saharan Africa, the natural habitat of the third largest living land mammal, the hippopotamus. Despite their ancient Greek name meaning river horse, well, you're going to want to watch till the end as we venture out into the intriguing world of these impressive titans of nature, the colossal hippopotamus amphibious and the interesting pygmy hippo, hippopotamus liberiensis. Their habitat stretches from Uganda to Gambia, with the amphibious standing proudly as a giant among terrestrial. These creatures seek out water bodies for the refreshing relief they offer from the blazing afternoon heat. The surrounding vegetation not only caters to nutritional needs, but also serves as a birthing area for females. We guarantee a detailed peek into the lives of these enigmatic entities. Here's an intriguing fact, despite their name suggesting otherwise, they share a stronger bond with pigs, whales, and dolphins. Ever been curious about where these huge creatures reside? We'll guide you through the majestic rivers and lakes of sub-Saharan Africa. Now, here's an interesting twist. The Saga of Abu Khan, the famous hippo hunter from the Gambia between 1910 to 1968. Abu Khan, celebrated for his remarkable talent in tracking and harmlessly relocating rogue hippos, has played a crucial role in resolving human-wildlife conflict. This highlights the need for sustainable solutions and ensuring security for humans against beasts. His efforts place him in the Gambia's folklore and his story is edged into school history books, in areas where human communities and wildlife habitats are Abu Khan is also known to have killed over 200 problematic hippos in creeks and swamps of the river Gambia. Armed with a single-barrel gun and pouches of gunpowder and trigger caps, he roamed the north bank of the River Gambia to respond to the calls of distressed rice fielders, mainly women, whose crop was being devoured by hippos. Moving on, despite the implications of their ancient Greek name as river horse, envision an animal that weighs up to 1,200 kilograms, 2,645 pounds, 1.3 tons, and lives up to 61 years. Say hello to the hippopotamus, a creature of imposing size and unexpected lifespan. These impressive beasts are 10 to 16 feet long, standing around 5 feet tall at the shoulder. Females called cows often weigh 3,000 pounds, but males known as bulls truly amaze, reaching a staggering 10,000 pounds, the equivalent of five cars. Generally, hippos live for 40 to 50 years, both in the wild and in captivity. Some even surpass this average lifespan, with the oldest known hippo living to 61 years. A striking feature is their teeth. Hippos' canine and incisor teeth keep growing throughout their life, reaching an incredible length of 20 inches. Hippos are no small creatures. Hippos are not solitary creatures either, but rather live in groups that can number up to 100. These collectives, known as bloats, pods, or sieges, serve as vital protection. Hippos are territorial, defending their area. They follow human-like courting patterns and breed predominantly from February to August. A hippo mother gives birth to a single calf after eight months of gestation, a commitment that restricts her to mating biennially. Newborn hippos, weighing roughly 99 pounds, possess the remarkable ability to nurse on land or underwater by sealing their ears and nostrils. This adaptation, coupled with 18 months of nurturing, prepares the calf for life in the larger hippo community. After 18 months of mother-baby bonding, the hippo calf is ready to join the larger hippo group. Despite their size and power, hippos aren't invincible. They grapple with numerous threats, largely from humans and lions. Habitat destruction, illegal hunting and conflicts with human settlements due to crop damage contribute to the plummeting hippopotamus population. Conservation efforts are being deployed in response. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, has classified hippos as vulnerable, advocating for their habitat preservation. Various African national parks and reserves are crucial in providing secure environments for these creatures, shielded from human interference. Legal protection against hunting is enforced in several nations, and global organizations are catalyzing coexistence strategies, aiding locals to cohabit peacefully with these hefty neighbors. Despite such efforts, the path towards restoration is arduous. Once found all over Central and Southern Africa, the hippopotamus population is now in serious decline. Hippos aren't just massive creatures, they play a significant role in their ecosystems. But how does the second heaviest land mammal shape their environment? Unbelievably, it all comes back to their excrement. Yes, you read correctly. Hippo dung, surprisingly enough, is essential for African rivers and lakes. Sounds peculiar, right? Let's explore further. As hippos defecate in water, their waste becomes a nutrient-rich banquet for many river dwellers, 
providing both sustenance and energy. This organic matter sustains a range of life forms, including fish and insects. In fact, traces of this waste have been found various species which demonstrates how effectively these nutrients circulate within the ecosystem. The absorption is most pronounced during the driest season, when the excrement is more readily available due to low water levels. In essence, hippos are nature's sanitation engineers, repurposing what we might deem as waste into life-giving nutrients. Through this process, they contribute enormously to the health and diversity of their habitats, guaranteeing the survival of countless cohabitant species. So, the next time you think of hippos, remember that they are crucial to maintaining the health of their habitats. Despite their seemingly docile nature, hippos are among the deadliest animals on Earth, causing up to 500 human fatalities each year in Africa. Their tranquil demeanor is deceptive. These creatures are extraordinarily dangerous, especially when feeling threatened. They are fiercely territorial, especially regarding their aquatic homes, and will charge at anything crossing their path. This includes small boats and large crocodiles. This territorial nature also extends to their offspring, with mother hippos known to robustly protect their calves. The danger of a hippo lies in its mouth. Hippos possess a jaw force capable of crushing a crocodile or breaking a small boat. Their enormous mouths can open up to 150 degrees wide, revealing teeth that can grow up to 20 inches long. One bite from a hippo can exert a force of about 2,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush bone. Moreover, they are surprisingly quick for their size, capable of running at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. That's faster than a human, making it nearly impossible to outrun a charging hippo. So, despite appearances, hippos are not to be underestimated. We've touched on their habitat, social behavior, and dangerous side. Now, let's dive into their diet. Did you know that hippos are herbivores? Despite their large size and strong jaws, they primarily eat grass, occasionally consuming fruit or vegetables. They can eat up to 80 pounds of food in one night. Now, let's touch on their unique skin. Their skin is thick and up to two inches, and it produces a natural sunscreen. This formidable skin protects them from predators and the harsh African sun. They also secrete a red, oily substance, mistaken for blood, that works as a sunblock and moisturizer, keeping their skin healthy in the hot African climate. Now let's talk about how hippos communicate. They use vocalizations, gestures, and underwater signals to converse with each other. From grunts and bellows to massive splashes and underwater vibrations, their language is complex. Everything from their diet to their skin and communication makes hippos truly distinctive creatures. Their survival is not only essential for our ecosystem but also for the preservation of our cultural heritage. As we conclude, we hope you enjoyed exploring hippos with us. If you did, give our video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more. Thank you for your support and stay tuned for more adventures. See you in the next video.